let's see how quickly we can go through the Wind Temple. So we're going to launch ourselves into the Wind Temple through the vortex in this storm cyclone. There it is, the ship we've been looking for. So cool. This reminds me of Skyward Sword Ship Castle. Ship Dungeon. Are those seahorses? Are they birds? Probably birds. So just like every other uh, dungeon in this game, we need to find the kind of activator square, which is right by that wind. Let's go ahead and get through with Tula here. Okay, now we need to examine this, and this is going to show us how many terminals we need to find. It also activates a teleportation port. That's nice. How many are there? So there's one orange one that's activated, but we need to find five others. So let's go around the temple, and I'll show you where the five are that we need to activate. Starting from the center of the temple, use your paraglider. We want to go up here. There are these two doors that we're going to use. Uh, you can use Ultra Hand on one of them. And lift it up. Dive down. Careful of the lasers. And then, right here is the first switch. So go to Tulin. Get him to charge his power. And then you need to put his gust through the turbine here. And that's going to activate the first of the five switches or terminals. There we go. One down and four to go. I think I saw one other thing here. So there's a treasure chest on this side that you want to hit up before you continue. So let's do that now. Right here. Soldier 4 Blade. Ooh, that's super good. 49. Terminal number 2 is right by the air gust as well. Right here. Right below where we were. If you open this, it kind of introduces you to where you... Oh, ow, hey, stop that. Flame emitter right in the face. This side introduces you to the idea of how to do the switch and also gives you an opal. So we need to reproduce that on the other side. And there's some fire there, that's nice. How long has that been burning? For how many years? So you take one of these icicles and you attach it, and now you have something to grab this with, just like the other side. It doesn't have to be perfect, but that's how you do terminal number two. Now talk to Tulin, and he can do a gust right through the turbine, and that's Terminal 2 of 5. Sweet. Two down and three to go. We were just over there. That's where the terminal was that we just did. And there's this kind of jumping point right there. We're going to fall through here, take a right, and then go down through this hole right through here, and this is the location of another terminal. So let's talk to Tulin. Tulin, let's do this! How many more are there? Two more? Sweet. Three down, two to go. Thank you, Tulin. The next terminal is on the back of the boat. You want to jump off this one. And there's this ice cave that we want to go through. So let's break the icicles. And what you want to do is you actually want to bring all of these fire. You want to, let's see if we can extinguish these fires. Let's see if we put splash root on. No, not you. Okay. Deal with you. Okay, now can we put these fires out? No. 
Okay. You have to be very careful with these icicles because you don't want them to extinguish with the fires nearby. So fuse all the icicles together. And then if you have something cold, here I have a sapphire frog, it will actually reduce the temperature around you. So we're going to bring all the icicles that we can over here and create a long chain of icicles. Oh, and there's some on the ceiling too. So we shot down the two icicles that were on the ceiling with arrows, and it looks like just the two icicles are long enough. Feed it through, fuse it to the chest, and then we're going to bring all three of them back out. I think this is such a cool puzzle. Now open the chest and collect your wonderful reward of a sapphire. Okay. So we do want these icicles with us, so let's fuse the rest of these. We're going to hold them as far away from the fire as possible, so that hopefully they don't melt if they're up here. Oh, they're melting. Okay. Let's reverse back in time that and bring this with us. All right, well, we'll bring one with us. How's that? Oh, great. Okay, so this next room is really cool. This might be one of my favorite rooms in this whole thing. Um, let's destroy that guy first. Okay, so for this puzzle, we need to move the right gear from the left gear. So in this room, there are all these icicles up here. So hit them with arrows. The biggest ones are the best ones here. So there's a really big one back here. Grab that with Ultra Hand. And then bring it through here. You want it to fuse so that it moves both of them, just like that. Once it fuses and moves both of them, it'll open up this door. I just love that. So there are plenty of big icicles that you can do this with. Cool. All right, Tulin. Let's do this one. I think after this, we only have one more. Yep, just one remaining. We only have one, we only have one left, Tulin. I agree. The last terminal is by the left of the front of the ship again. We're gonna go this way. Instead of pulling all the way through this time, we're going to look around here. Oh, I think it's on the other side, maybe. Let's take a look over here. Sorry, Sword of the Hero, but you broke. So we're gonna get over to this other side. If you wanna come back here later, you can open this up. Not necessary though, you can just go to use Ascension to get to the top of the ship. But here, we want to go up a level. Hope we're going the right way. It looked like a dead end for a second there. Yes, okay, this is where we want to go. So, these little fan blades, you can see they have arrows on them. That kind of tells you how to attach them to this dead fan. So right here, we want to have them as wide as possible. And there are four around here. I don't think you need to attach all four. I guess we could try. Let's attach just two and see if that's enough. Okay, Tulin, can we spin you? Is two going to be enough? Uh, yes, two is enough. So as long as that's spinning long enough, you can get through here. I mean, maybe even one was enough. And then Tulin, let's activate this. Okay, all right. Silver Lionel Reaper is Okay, now Tulin can do it. Thank you. And that's the fifth terminal. So let's go and activate the opening and see how we do. Open up the hatch. That's really convenient. I don't know if all of them open up here, but now we're immediately back to where we need to go. And that's how you do all five terminals at the Wind Temple. <laughs>